Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. My name is Jason Clark, and it will be my privilege and pleasure to be your Master of Ceremonies for today's event. On behalf of Wayne State University and the Department of Athletics, I want to welcome each of you to the 43rd Annual Athletic Hall of Fame celebration. Today's event is an opportunity to reflect and showcase the very best of Wayne State Athletics. On behalf of the athletic department coaches and staff, it gives us great pleasure to have all of you share in this very special occasion. Now in his sixth year leading the university is the 12th president of Wayne State University, Dr. M. Roy Wilson. Additionally, President Wilson is one of 16 members of the NCA President's Council who is charged with setting the strategic direction for the division. President Wilson. Thank you. Good afternoon. You know, athletics means different things to different people. And I know as, uh, as well as many of you, that for me it, it is a bit personal because I grew up with athletics. Um, but I reached a point, and for you young people out there, this is a preview. And for those of you who are 40 years and over, you know what I'm talking about. I reached that point where my mind knew exactly what to do, but my body wouldn't do it. And so I said, okay, time to stop and do something else. Started doing cycling. And with cycling, I can still get that thrill. That thrill of, of doing your best and uh, maximizing whatever your body can do and, and feeling good about just you're always striving for your personal best. And when I cycle, I think a lot about our motto, Warrior Strong, because it's not just for athletes, but for anyone who's pushing a little bit harder, looking to improve a time by even just a fraction of a second, trying to do their very, very best, and maybe even pursue a personal best. So warrior strong, and even, and I know there's a lot of tartars out there, so even if you're a tartar, it's okay. It embodies the same thing, the extra determination in all of us to overcome our challenges on the field, in the classroom, in the game of life, and prepare as best we can to be the best we can be. So today's Hall of uh, fame inductees joining a, a very distinguished class of Wayne State players and coaches. You've excelled on the field and in the classroom and community. And you led by example. And our current student athletes are working hard to follow in your footsteps. For example, last fall, three quarters of our student athletes had a 3.0 or better GPA. 46 student athletes earned a 4.0 in the fall term. 182 of our student athletes earned academic all GLIAC honors last school year. And our student athletes have completed more than 71,000 community service hours over the last seven years, more than 10,000 hours last year. Now, those stats are impressive, but I'd like to put it in, in a bit of context. You know, when I, when I do my stationary uh, bike training in the uh, winter, I watch TV. And I was watching a series recently called Last Chance You. And for those of you who haven't uh, watched it, it's really great. It's about two programs. One in Independence, Kansas. It's a junior college football program that was at the bottom of the league. And then they became at the very top by recruiting all these athletes nationally. And then the other team is Eastern Mississippi, which perennially is in the top three or four teams in the country. Again, a JUCO. And they're full of student athletes, well, I should say athletes, who this is their last chance to make it. Their last chance because they've screwed up. A lot of these are Division I athletes, football players, who did something with their life that 
they regret and, and they want a, a second chance. They're great athletes. But while watching this series, there's two things that will come to my mind. One was that despite how great these athletes were, how very few would actually make it out of JUCO, get Division I and Division II scholarship offers, and how even fewer would make their ultimate dream of playing in the NFL. So that's one. And the second thing that struck me is this is their last chance, and yet their lack of academic discipline in most of these kids. Not even going to class. I don't know what I should do in the Independence, Kansas, if you're not going to class. <laughs> but not even going to class. And, and I say this because I could not help every time I saw this series to think about our student athletes, their resiliency, their, their talent, but also the fact that they are student athletes and they put student first. So I am so proud of our student athletes and to all the Hall of Famers, congratulations, Warrior Strong. Here to provide a brief welcome, first on behalf of current student athletes, a representative of the football program, Mr. Deontay Nicholas. Deontay is Wayne State Student Athlete Advisory Committee President and the GLIAC Student Athlete Advisory Committee Representative to the National Committee, where uh, during the most recent NCA con convention, Deontay was named Vice President of the NCA Division II National Student Athlete Advisory Committee. Deontay. Um, thank you guys, thank you guys, thank you guys all so much. Um, this Hall of Fame class, so special, so truly special what you guys have done. On behalf of the student athletes, we thank you so much. You've laid a foundation, set a standard for us student athletes now to reach for it, to go up and grab for each and every day. When we see your pictures in the hallway, we see your uh, pictures on the internet, you guys are something to strive for, you've set the bar so high. Um, and let, let us not remember, let us not forget uh, people like Michael Chan and people like Kelsey Myers now, the people who uh, make everything happen. We thank you so much and all the coaches and the impact you guys have had in our lives. And just want to give a quick shout out to Troy Burrell. Um, coming into Wayne State, I watch your highlights like every day. Um, just wanted to aspire to be like you and um, just achieve the things you've done. And now that, you know, being here today has all come into fruition. I appreciate you and all you other um, Hall of Fame inductees that I don't know personally. I thank you so much in your individual sport and being at Wayne State Athletic Department, you guys are truly, truly appreciated, and we're truly grateful. Thank you. On behalf of the uh, Athletic Department and coaches and staff, I want to welcome you to this 44th Annual Hall of Fame. It's quite a celebration and quite an event for all of us in the Athletic Department. You know, there's a big thing in social media now uh, it's looking back over 10 years. And this throwback concept is you post a picture of yourself 10 years ago and then how you look today. A lot of celebrities do it because, well, after 10 uh, years of physical work and having a personal trainer, you still look pretty good. I am destroying all my old pictures, so we're not going to do that. But today is kind of like a throwback Thursday or a fallback Friday because we get a chance to look back at some significant moments and accomplishments by our student athletes and how it magnified and improved the athletic department. I'm going to go through each one of the inductees here today to give you a little insight into them and what it took for them to get here. Carly Saval. You know, it's all in the family. If there was ever a person who developed within the Wayne State diving family, it's Carly Saval. In fact, it was Kelly LaCroix, the longtime diving coach's husband, Paul, who first suggested to Carly that she may want to think about coming to Wayne State. 
I don't know exactly what Paul got Kelly for Valentine's Day, but if there's one gift that he can keep calling on, it was given Carly Saval. Carly was actually uh, mentored and coached by a former Wayne State diver, the first diver ever to win the three meter championship, Don Mason. Don won that national championship in the three meter back in 1982. And he was instrumental in the development and the refinement of Carly as a diver. Don is actually here today as he was introduced earlier. He missed his induction ceremony 20 years ago. So in a way, you get to relive it today. You know, it's kind of like a family gathering. Don, stand up. Don and others developed Carly into a state champion at Mercy High School. Kelly and others developed her into an NCAA national champion. Carly was a eight-time All-American, seven times a first-team All-American, once her freshman year, an honorable mention All-American. If you think about it, there's two diving events at the NCAA championships, the one meter and the three meter. So in essence, she was eight for eight. The lowest she ever finished in three meter diving at the national championships was sixth. And in the conference championships, well, in 2011, she was the conference champion at three meters. At 2012, she was a one meter conference champion and in 2013, she was a one-meter conference champion. Remarkable success. But you know, as much as you could be nurtured and developed by your family, at some point, you're out there on your own. And that season when she won the national championship, it was a season that she channeled all that support and all those energy from those that were closest to her. It started out that summer when she had her appendix removed. And then after that, cystic syndrome affected her and she spent three weeks in the hospital and lost 20 pounds. That's not the regiment you follow to be a national champion. As she worked her way back into diving condition, she had a hip infringement and a hip flexor. You can imagine if you're 10 feet in the air and you're twisting and contorting your body in order to have the perfect dive to not be at 100%. At the NCAA championships, she not only battled her competition, she battled injuries that had followed her throughout the year. She did 11 preliminary dives for the one meter, 11 preliminary dives for the three meter, six final dives, for the one meter, six final dives for the three meter. She said her most memorable moment throughout her career was when she made that last dive on the three meter board. And she looked up and she saw she was a national champion. For her success, she was named the NCAA Female Diver of the Year. And Kelly LaCroix, the diving coach, well, she was named the Diving Coach of the Year. And that's a pretty good family photo. Carly said that that whole ordeal of everything she went through that year, it taught her a lot. It taught her a lot about herself beyond diving. And I always tell student athletes, that's the gift that athletics gives back to you. Carly was a tremendous student. Every semester she was on the honor roll three times with a perfect four point. She was twice a swimming All-American and she completed her career as the female student athlete of the year at Wayne State. By the way, the male student athlete that year was Ian Larkin. 
she said she used to joke with Don Mason as to who would have the better college career. When Don won that championship back in 1982 on the three meter board, his score was 508.65. Carly's, when she won the championship, was 503.40. Not much difference. Actually, I don't think it's for us to decide. I think it's a family squabble. Let them work it out. Carly, one thing for sure, you're in the Hall of Fame with the rest of the diving community. Stand up. Well, hello everyone and thank you for being here today. I'd like to start with a quote by the Olympic diver Greg Luganis. He said, I am a firm believer that you don't achieve greatness on your own. There is always someone there to lend a hand. As I accept this award today, I am reminded of the many people who lent a hand along the way during my career. I have to admit, diving wasn't my dream of mine. Growing up, I had always been involved in gymnastics. I really had no idea diving even existed until I was getting ready for high school. At my high school, there was no gymnastics team, and so my parents encouraged me to make the switch and to try diving. After that, I absolutely fell in love with the sport, and I never looked back. I want to first thank my parents, because it was through your guidance and support that I found diving. I'm proud to say that over my entire, entire diving career, there was only one competition that they couldn't make it to. No matter how early they had to get up or how far they had to drive, they were always there for me. And even though my dad worked long days, he still made time to be at all my meets. My dad was a great example of what drive and determination looked like, and I thank him for instilling that in me. I also have to give a special shout out to my mom because she was always my biggest cheering section. She used to joke that she'd have to teach everybody how to cheer for diving because you want to cheer when the diver hits the water, not when they come up from underneath the water. When we rewatch a lot of my videos from my old competitions, you can always hear my mom cheering above everybody else. And her cheering still hasn't stopped. And even though I'm coaching now, she still comes to many of my meets and is there cheering on my athletes. I also want to thank my brother for being a big supporter. I know it wasn't always your favorite, sitting in the hot pools all day long waiting for me just to compete a few dives, but you were always excited and there with your camera gear ready to get an action shot of me. I also want to thank all my coaches along the way. Thank you to my first coach, Scott McHugh. He was the one who noticed my potential and convinced me to pursue diving full time. Next, I want to thank Don Mason, Hall of Fame class of 98. He is the reason that I fell in love with diving, and he taught me that diving is so much more than just a sport. He taught me to make excellence a habit and to pursue greatness in everything that I do. Thank you to Sean, Bryce, and especially Kelly. You have truly created a special program here at Wayne State, and I am forever thankful to be part of it. Thank you to the athletic department for doing so much for me as a student athlete. I came out of Wayne State with a great education and an opportunity to pursue my dream career of teaching. It was also at Wayne State that I met my boyfriend, Alex, and thank you for being my rock, and I look forward to our future together. I am forever thankful for everyone who stood behind me in my career. It is truly an honor to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. Thank you. Six phenomenal young people. Six phenomenal careers, six new inductees into the Hall of Fame. But you know, it's not about the pictures from years ago. It's not about the stories or the snippets. It isn't really even about those little facts and figures that were thrown out. This is the part that people don't get about athletics. It's a learning environment. It's an environment that tests you in ways that you're not tested anywhere else. And it prepares you for whatever comes next. It could be the president of the university. Whatever it is, you're better prepared because you've been a student athlete. It might be that your dream of being a major leaguer 
that others say you can't make, well, you overcome that. Or you have doubts about your physical ability to make it and keep going. You fight through that. Where people say, you've got to give me more today than you've given, well, you do that. That's what being a Wayne State student athlete about. And that's what we're celebrating today. You know, some people dream about success. And others get up every day and make it happen. Just like the six you met. That's why they're champions. That's the example they set for others. Congratulations. Well deserved. Welcome home. Go Warriors. Over. I'm going to turn it over to our Director of Athletics, Rob Moyet. <laughs> Thanks, Candace. <laughs> We'd just like the inductees to come up here um, to another class, 2019 class. So come on up and pull the sheet down. Don't pull the board down. Just pull the sheet down. <laughs> <laughs> speed. You got speed. You got speed. Yeah. You got speed. You got speed. And then somebody reach on the other side. There you go. Just pull it right up. Good job. Get there. Woo! 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 Okay. Right here? Yeah. 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 Y